part 2 of chapter on international investment will deal with multinational corporation its meaning and different entry modes a multinational corporation is an organization doing business in more than one country MNCs have sales offices and manufacturing facilities in more than one nation. They engage in various activities like exporting, importing and manufacturing in more than one country. They produce the products in one or few countries but export them to many more countries. Foreign investment helps them to tap the large consumer base in host nations. It also enables them to increase their market share, reduce cost and reduce the impact of restrictive trade practices adopted by few countries. Corporations need to deal with certain operational factors at home and abroad. The environmental factors with respect to competition faced by the parent company at home and subsidiaries in host nations are almost the same. For example, General Motors of the USA faces competition from Ford, Honda, Volvo, Volkswagen in the USA and in Europe. Secondly, MNCs draw more or less same resources both at home and in host economy. The resources include financial resources, human resources, material resources, information patents, trademarks, etc. Third, the subsidiary and parent company are linked by a common vision and a mission. However, each subsidiary of MNCs formulate their own strategies. Fourth, MNCs prefer to locate their operations in different countries on the basis of low cost of production, availability of cost effective labor, low transport cost, large consumer market, easy supply of raw materials, government policies, etc. The different entry modes adopted by multinational corporations include licensing, franchises, joint venture, wholly owned subsidiary, mergers and acquisition, direct and indirect exporting. Licensing as an entry mode would mean a foreign firm providing a license to a local firm to access to its technology, patents, trademarks, know-how, brand or a company name in exchange for a financial compensation like licensing fee, a royalty or a technical fees. Licensing makes it possible for an MNC to enter the foreign market without making huge capital investment and thereby earn additional income by giving the licenses of its technical know-how, trademarks and patents to a local firm in host nation. It also helps the MNC to reach out to the market which have high import duties imposed on foreign products so also reduce the risk of loss in profits due to any kind of economic or political uncertainty in host nation as licensee is usually a local firm of host nation. But some of the disadvantages of licensing are it yields lower income as compared to other modes of entry in foreign market the licensee itself may become a competitor once the license agreement has expired. The licensee might bring disrepute to a parent company in case the licensee is unable to uphold the quality 
and standards of manufacturing and market operations. The next entry mode is franchising. It is a type of licensing. The franchiser can exercise more control over the firm which has been granted a franchisee in a host nation compared to licensing. Under franchising, a local firm called the franchisee operates the business under the name of parent company which is the franchiser in return of a fee. The different services provided by the franchiser includes trademarks, operating systems, product reputations, continuous support system like advertising, employee training, reservation services, quality assurance program, etc. Compared to licensing, the franchising agreement tends to be longer. Franchising is an entry mode runs a low political risk, is relatively less costly and allows simultaneous expansion in different countries while the problem faced with this mode includes difficulty in maintaining control over the franchisee, continuous monitoring and evaluation of franchisees along with provision of ongoing assistance, Possibilities of conflict with the franchisee resulting into long legal disputes. Threat of competition in future due to acquired knowledge and technical know-how. The different types of franchises include business format franchisee. It is a form of agreement where the franchiser provides the franchisee with an established business including the name and trademark to the franchisee to run independently in return for fees and or royalty. Example of such franchisees are McDonald's, Pizza Hut, Domino's, Baskin Robbins, KFC, etc. Second is product franchisee. It is a kind of franchising agreement where Franchiser allows the local firm to distribute its product and also use names and trademarks. Example, distributors of automobiles like BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Audi, etc. The third kind of franchising is manufacturing franchises. In case of manufacturing franchise, the franchiser allows the, a manufacturer to produce and sell products using its name and trademark. Example, Coca-Cola and Pepsi-Cola selling its syrup together with the right to use its trademark and name to independent bottlers across the world. The third entry mode adopted by MNCs is joint ventures or collaborations. A joint venture may be necessary due to legal restrictions on foreign investment. It reduces the cost and risk of investment for an MNC. Sometimes joint ventures or collaborations are the only way of entering markets which are highly competitive and saturated. Example of joint ventures in India are ICICI Lombard, Max New York Life Insurance and Tech Mahindra. Wholly owned subsidiaries are another type of entry modes adopted by MNCs. It can be used as entry mode by MNCs in sectors where 100% FDI is permitted under FDI policy of a host nation. A wholly owned subsidiary is a company which is completely owned by a parent company in a host nation. Greenfield Investments are an example of wholly owned subsidiaries. They are relatively costly but are able to provide full control to parent company in the host nation. 
Mergers and Acquisitions A merger is a combination of two companies to form a new company, while an acquisition is the purchase of one company by another company in which no new company is formed. In both the cases, an immediate access is provided to international manufacturing facilities, market networks and market share in host nations. Direct Exporting It is one of the traditional form of entry modes adopted by MNCs. It refers to an arrangement wherein an MNC decides to export its product directly to an end consumer in host nation. This could be done through appointment of sales representatives and importing distributors. The advantages are better protection of trademarks, patents, goodwills, etc. Lower threat of potential competitors compared to other license uh, entry modes like licensing and franchises. It can also benefit from economies of scale due to production base being located in home nation. The last entry mode to be discussed in this slide is indirect exporting. It is exporting through a domestically based export intermediaries. The exporter in this case has no control over its product in the foreign market. Such kind of indirect exporting may be mainly used in agricultural products where the brand name would not make much of difference. The export in these cases is carried out through export trading companies, export management companies or through export merchants. The references for additional reading are mentioned in this slide.